How's it going, Toxins? This is Tarantox. I'm back at you with more of this Pokemon Light Platinum. Last time we left off, we didn't get any badges. We came up to this town and did stuff. Not really. Um, we met the gym leader at the front. She was like, we got shit to do with these uh, combi that are attacking people. And I actually leveled up a bit. Everybody's pretty much level 20. Elekid got that dude on deck. Um, also, I noticed a lot of people were telling me, like, hold on. First, I actually have to do this right now. Because someone, I'm sorry I'm going to blank on your name, but uh, I know someone told me and then like two other people told me after this person told me. But um, I did respond to the comment, but um, they told me that in this freaking hack, I can have a freaking a Milotic right now. So let's do this. Water stoning it up right now. Milotic is the freaking bee's knees. Mr. Limpet becomes a Milotic. Because... I need a water type. My low tick is going to be a freaking great water type to add to the team. And so, so, so it begins the Milotic era, I guess. So let's get this going. I know I have to level it up. Hopefully I can get an experience share sometime soon. Shun? Did I say Shun? S-H-O-O-N? Hopefully I can get an experience share sometime soon. I have a rare candy. I'm not going to use that on anyone just yet. I don't have any running shoes, but I do have the skibbity do. So, yeah. Um, so pretty much what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to toss my, my Lodic in front. All she knows is what to splash, right? All it knows is splash at the moment. But, um, yeah, I kind of like normally, in normal fashion, I went ahead and, uh, checked out and seen what I had to do next up. We have to face some members of Team Steam. So, what I'm going to do is actually toss my Lodic up front so that I can grab all that, uh, sweet switch experience because my Lodic is going to go ham. Team Steam! Team Steam is ready to defeat any enemy. Not me. You guys don't have what it takes to beat me. Looking like the Team Plasma Grunts. I just noticed that. Or Team Galactic. Team Galactic. There you go. That's that's who they are. Oh, level 16. Alright. Go with me and Foo. <laughs> yeah, I believe, if I remember correctly, has a fighting type move. Hopefully. If I remember, hopefully. I might be correct. Please be correct. Eh, let's fake out. Eh, Swift! <laughs> Shit never misses, man! You gonna bite me? Alright, that's that's chill. I mean, I'm, it doesn't matter because I'm a fighting type, so that doesn't really affect the hell out of me. And that Skype is loud as hell over there. Apologize if you guys heard that. I know you guys heard that. Or, uh, maybe. I don't know. Alright, so we got a Zubat. My, uh, my Lodic learned rap, which is chill, which is chill. So we're gonna swip out, swip out, swap out, slash, switch out. I don't know why I said swip out. Gotta mix those words, you know. Love when the brain does that. So we're gonna swap over to Elikid, because that's gonna be like my secondary, I guess. After um my main guy, which is Charizard. Get that thunder punch, get the D. That should be an Oko right there, which it is. I'm still on my journey to find a Ralt, so I think Ralt is gonna be the only thing that actually takes like the legit legit um like top spot maybe I don't know because <laughs> normally with me it's always like uh, I pretty much do a hierarchy with um, my teams and for the most part it goes um starter flying type what is this I'm fighting what is this it's a shinx um ice tree it goes starter flying type and then everybody else but in the recent freaking hacks, well not really hacks, but recent playthroughs, like uh, Pokemon Black, it's gone to non-starters since it was Nuzlocke. So that's when um, Scrafty and Jamona kind of pulled their their weight and was just going ham. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, get that. Oh, he didn't get Oak Cold. He didn't get the Oak Cold. Got that Leer on deck. I don't care about your Leer. All right, so hopefully this little. Oh, he has poison. I forgot he got poison. Bye. On my uh, effect spore, which is great. So I love Mr. Mr. Ice Tree over here. Or it's a female, so Mrs. Ice Tree. See, I could actually finish this battle, like all these battles, off hella quick with a uh, Charmander, Charmander, Charmeleon, and did kind of evolve. I could finish it off, but um, I won't, because I need that experience. I want to level up Mr. Limpet, and if I remember correctly, the first gym uses. Freaking um, 
Oh shit, that's stupid. That's dumb. That's dumb. Use Astonish or something, please. <laughs> uh, I forgot. I forgot I'm grass and ice. But, um... Yeah, uh, I'm pretty much stacked against bug types. I believe they use bug types. I can just use Charmeleon all day. And, and just wreck shop. I need a flying type. Taylor would be freaking awesome to have. But, uh... For the most part, I should be squared away for the first gym. By the second gym, I expect to have a uh, maybe level 30. I'm not sure exactly how um, the leveling system works on here, like which um, level you'll be at certain points. But I'm assuming it's pretty high since I'm level 20 by level by the first gym. The first gym is normally like level 16 ish. Like your starter is just now evolving at level 16. But for me to have what, three Pokemon? Or, actually, no. Like three or four. I'm about three or four Pokemon at level around level 20, which is kind of beasting. Um, I will admit that I did kind of do a lot of training, but also that's kind of credited to uh, the hacker, or the guy that made the hack, who didn't really regulate the uh, experience system with uh, wild types. Because as you know, with the Venipedes that are in... Um, Let's bring him out. I haven't brought you out in a minute. The Venipedes that are in the wild, they give like so much experience. Like level 5 Venipedes give out like 220 something experience. And it's like, you're level 5. Why are you giving so much? It's so good. But I'm not complaining. And yes, I do talk a lot. I know. It's been noted. <laughs> Alright, got a pie dove. Alright, bring out the mystery. No. See, like this is the whole like training deal. It's kind of annoying. Well, not really training thing, but like switch training, it's really annoying. But um, it, it it's something that uh, as Genji would say, it has to be done for the world. And I haven't said that in ages. Shout out to you guys or whoever actually gets that reference or knows where it's from. But um, yeah, I haven't said that in a minute, and I haven't actually sped any of this battle up. I just like any of these battles up. I just noticed that this is not my style normally. Why am I letting this play out? I don't even know. We gotta, we gotta squeeze more. We got, I'm seven minutes in. We gotta squeeze more. Hold on. We, we gotta squeeze more in here. Team Steam. Something, something, Steam Steam. Let's do this. Chuck Berry. Get that wreck. Scratch him. Level eight. That's what I'm talking about. It's been a while. Like, I forgot about the spinny, spinny twirlies. Why am I calling the spinny twirlies? <laughs> what are the freaking speedy, what did, what did I call it? I forgot what I called it. Like, that quick. The uh, fast forwardation, jeez. Fast forwardation. I, I'm just herper derping all over the place right now. All right. Shanks, take out the mean food. You like fake out, baby? Hit him with the swift KO. That's my uh, mean food's clutch right there. Hit, come in with the fake out. Come out with the swift, the swift because normally that's uh, a double hit. Normally it takes him out. So not really tripping. Ooh, that air cutter on that thing, nice. Limpet's level 9. Limpet can freaking take out anything in this wild area. So I'm going to go run back to the Pokemon Center. Actually, I'm going to pause here because I don't want to have to subject you guys to, to all that. And we're back. And I just thought of this great idea. I actually have a headbutt TM, which I can teach to Mr. Limpet. And I wouldn't mind it. Boom, Mr. Limpet knows headbutt. Now it has a move that it can actually use other than rap, which kind of blows, but... Let's do this. Cut scenage. Well, the found what was wrong with the combi, William. Team Steam and their drive to create new equipment to capture legendary Pokemon were testing their inventions on these poor defenseless combi. Now I'll stop them at last. I doubt very much you can defeat me, Sheila. Defeat me, Sheila, an admin of Team Steam. Go, Vespaquin. Go, Driftblim. Vespaquin, attack with Fury Cutter. Look at them jumping on each other. Look at that. Drifflim, you shot a ball. You did a great job, Vespa Quinn. Thanks for battling. Now it's time for the fun part, Jessica. Drifflim, finish her off with Shadow Ball. Stop this right now. Get ready to face me, Sheila. I don't know why my voices went like two different tones, but Steam Admin Sheila wants to want to roll up and be like, we 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 trying to take over. I'm gonna come through and be like, yo, we got Elekin. Oh, you got the shadow tag. What a dick. <laughs> I 
can't. Oh, I'm screwed. I'm screwed, man. Game over, man. Game over. <laughs> Nothing I can do with splash. Cause I can't. You and your freaking shadow attack. Don't worry, you won't go down. Your loss won't be in vain. Fuck his day up. That's what I'm talking about. Scheisenheiser. I don't have it. Do I have any revives? Cause I really want to get this thing some experience. Like right now. I don't. Whatever. Punch its lights out. You got your drift limb. I'm ready for that. Oh, you got a dust skull. See, that's where you're going wrong, son. Ice tree, come through with the icy wind. Like, nah, get out of here. Lowering speed and shit. Fast forward and all that. Leech seed, we in here. <laughs> Oko with the leech seed. No, not the Oko. Cause that would insinuate one hit KO, which it wasn't. Nice drift limb. Get out of here. I burned it. And you're dead now. That would have been a lot of experience for freaking mission with it, but involved with Team Kisneva, I just wasn't anticipating for it to have Shadow Tag on his drift gun. Ultimate defeat. This humiliating defeat has left me speechless. I will come back until I see you. Blah, blah, blah. Thanks for saving me. You really, really look like a formidable opponent. I'll be waiting for your times at the indoor gym. Punk ass combi. Okay, so, was that a pseudo wudo? No, it's just a random ass tree. Okay. <laughs> I'm not, excuse me, sir. I'm not a pseudo wudo. I'm just a regular ass tree. That's actually like a weekly tube show reference. If anybody gets that, the uh, Dragon Ball Z. And he's like, excuse me, Jeff. It was like, what did he say? Uh, I forget. They called him Jeff Foxworthy. And he's like, I'm not Jeff Foxworthy. I'm just a regular ass guy. <laughs> uh, that was the greatest thing in the world. Greater than how I told it, but you, you, you get the idea. What's up? Love your country, farm, don't care. I'll just cow people up in here. Oh, TM09. What is that? Like, bullet seed or something? Yep, it is bullet seed. I don't have any. Oh, ice tree can learn it, but screw bullet seed. Bullet seed is garbage. I take that back. Bullet seed's alright. Wait, what? Trade for what for your side there? For a spinner rack. I don't have a spinner rack. But also, I'm going to actually go travel back because people told me that if I go talk to Professor Oak, I can get a Pokemon and if I go talk back to what the hell, the other professor lady, she'll get me a freaking, uh, she'll give me Pokeballs, which is going to be something great. So I will catch you guys back in the old town. All right. All right. Professor Oak's right here. What do you got to say? Just by looking at you, I can see that you have great potential as a Pokemon trainer. I'm going to let you choose one of these three rare Pokemon to help you on your quest. No. Okay. Really talk to you again. Uh, no. <laughs> I don't want either of them. Can you give me something better? Alright, considering I have a freaking Charmeleon, I don't really want either of them because I have Ice Tree for this. Shit. You know what I'll do? I know what I'll do. I'll take a Toto Dial. Why take a Toto Dial? I don't freaking know. It's rare and difficult. Only a few people ever get one. Cool. Thank you. I don't know why I took the Toto Dial because I, like I said, I have Mr. Limpet in the works. I should have took Chikorita, but uh, whatever. I'm going to go get some Pokeballs now. All right, it's time to go back in here, talk to this chick so she can give me Pokeballs, of which she should have just gave me off rip. Dick. All right, now let's go back to town, to the other town with the gym. All right, <clears throat> now I'm back in this town, so I'm going to actually deposit Total Dial in the box. Um, I know what you guys are thinking. No, it's not going to go to waste. I'm going to actually, like, when I can, I'm going to toss Total Dial and, um... Actually, maybe not. I don't know. I know I'm going to toss Growlithe in the freaking daycare when I can, but I'm going to toss some Pokemon in the daycare when I get to the daycare. Let me check my Pokemon's health. We're good here. But for the most part, I'm going to be tossing them to the daycare when I can. I don't even know what the hell the daycare is, but I know this is a house and that this is also a house. So, yeah. Jim! You know, Jim, Jesus, Jessica, 